bring in uh, meteorologist Jeff Ray. Talk to us about uh, yeah. all these events Hi. happening all through the weekend and everything. We are. How are you? Nice are you to meet you. Day? Hi, Jeff. It's so nice. <laughs> it's so nice. Very nice. I get sequestered around in the there weather center. Okay, I don't get a chance to talk to you. Yeah, guys. well. Well, yeah. now you're here. Okay. We, we, we love the, it. We open the cage tonight let you out. Oh, uh, you guys curious about the weekend? Sure. A little bit. So every day this work week, some rain, right? Okay. Yep. And we're going into the weekend, and we do have a little bit of rain to start the weekend but it looks like Sunday uh, is going to be absolutely gorgeous. There is a shot of how the day is ending for us right now. Uh, as we go to that sunset, 735, and uh, that's 12 hours and 20 minutes of daylight we got today, by the way. The autumnal equinox in eight days, and we're going to lose that 20 minutes because we'll have 12 hours of daylight and then 12 hours of nighttime, and then it will be from then on nights longer than the day. So let's talk about our headlines first. Now, we got more rain chances. They, they return for tomorrow. They're about 40% chance of rain. Now, we're starting to clear out tomorrow night, just like we're doing right now. We're going to clear out tomorrow night, except this time it's sticking. It's just going to be great Sunday football weather for us. So let's take a look at radar and show you what's been going on. Here it is on the big view, if you will, that we are talking about a few showers just dissipating here over the last hour. I'll zoom in a little bit closer over by Denton, and you can see it just didn't cross the Denton County line. A little bit of rain over by Wise County has disappeared now. We've had dry air coming in from the west, and it's ended the shower activity. And you saw there as we're watching the sun get below horizon that it has been clearing out. But this is where the rain has been for the last two days. And as we take a look into the Metroplex, not so much across Tarrant and Dallas counties, but look to the south, uh, south of I-20. And you're talking about radar estimates up to four to five inches of rain in these bright colors. This outlined area where that big rain was, that was over areas of exceptional extreme drought. So you can imagine how welcome that rain was. All right, let's talk about your weekend forecast. That 40% chance of rain tomorrow and Sunday, of course, here on CBS Texas, we're going to have the Cowboys game. It's going to be a beautiful day. This is how First Alert Weather Futurecast looks for your Saturday. We're going to have some cloud cover around, especially in the morning. And then all that rain coming in from the west is going to try to get into us. Then it just clears out as we get into the day. And then we just kind of really get into some great weather for Sunday. Real quick, Hurricane Lee, Category 1 hurricane, comes on shore tomorrow afternoon, probably as a tropical storm in Canada. And the worst wind winds will be up there. There'll be tropical force winds on the coastline of Maine. Here's that seven day forecast. You've got those rain chances showing back up again by the time we get to Wednesday. Otherwise, a whole work week in the 90s.